from the Outsider Channel. Today, I'm excited to say we are going to ride Mammoth Bike Park. I've never been to a bike park on this large of a scale before, and bike parks are fairly new to me. I'd say Sky Park and Snow Summit are the only two I've actually ridden. This one's got a much larger scale. It's got a lot more trails to offer, longer runs, more difficult trails, I'm assuming. And, um, you know, usually I'm talking to you guys as a trail guide perspective. I'm still doing that today, but I'm also going to be riding with you guys for the first time. I'm riding this place blind. So that offers you the perspective to kind of see what it's like from someone going in there cold without any information, you know, how the chair lifts work, how the gondola works. And I know this park also has come some kind of uh, vehicle bus shuttle. So I'm going to learn as we go. I don't think it's that complicated. I don't think I have to ask a lot of questions. Thanks for joining me. I'm excited. Let's go ride Mammoth Bike Park. One last thing, little side note. I just bought a new helmet. It's my first full face. It's a Fox Pro Frame. So far, it's really comfortable. It's going to be my first day using it. All right, I'm gone for sure now. Well, I'll be back, but I'm leaving now. You know what I mean. Just giving you guys a taste of what I hit when I first got to the mountain. I took the gondola all the way up to the top. I took a trail called Off the Top down to Beach Cruiser. I'm not going to show the whole lines and the whole trail all the way down. It's a really long one. Uh, it's not that fun for film or for footage for you guys to watch, but on the trails are really fun. It's a great warm up. Get that bike feel going after being in the car for a little bit and get you ready for some of the more advanced trails that you're going to hit on the other side of the mountain. It's weird being on a gondola in the summer. I'm so used to snowboarding as a kid or growing up on the mountains in Vermont. Frigid cold, you'd be freezing your asses off. And uh, it's a whole different experience coming out here in the summer on a bike. All right, next round we're heading over to the other side. And then, honestly, I have no friggin' clue what I'm gonna be riding. Follow me as a straight ahead, it's a double black. But whatever. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to get lost in here. It all leads to the bottom. I'm riding blind and double blacks, it's fine. I just gotta be cautious. I'm not trying to break any records over here. Break through. I don't really know what I'm on anymore. I think it's the same trail. I didn't know which way this one went. All right, let's see what double blocks at Mammoth have in store. This is follow me. This is the, the second half towards the bottom. Now it starts. <laughs> I always need to look, know what I'm looking at, you know? All right, I'm going with the high line. And then from there, it's anybody's guess. Did I mention it's loose? I did. Don't follow that line. <laughs> that's a left, everybody. Remember, that's a left, everybody, right there when you come in that spot. Learn from me. That's what you'll remember. That's what you get riding blind trails, trying to get ahead of yourself. The guessing game the whole way.
Okay. I don't know where I just turned, but it's an expert. It's fun. I don't know what's over these things. Keep expecting a jump or a drop. That was rowdy. Yep. Hits keep coming right now. Should hit this more speed. Almost dumped it. How did my seat get crooked? It didn't even slam. Check this out. All right, seat fixed, pads realigned. Here we go. Back on follow me. Pretty good. And now I have no idea where I am. <laughs> I'm guessing I need a shuttle from some point, which I'll figure out. <laughs> so I'm kind of learning the hard way how the shuttle system works. Uh, the left side of the mountain kind of dips down, take it the streets back to the village, and there's a main bike park shuttle. I didn't know you had to scan your bike card to get on the rack. I just kind of threw the bike on. I was getting on the bus. He's like. Dude, you gotta scan your ticket. Everybody's waiting in a line I did not see. <laughs> kind of like a puppy between, with his, with his tail between his legs, walking to the back of the line like an idiot. But whatever. Now I know. Shuttled back to the gondola, took that back up. And now I'm looking for follow me from the top. A little bit of a climb to get here. I still don't see the trail. I saw the sign. This place is huge. I hate losing elevation on a fire road. I want to get on a trail, you know? Do you guys see the trail? I see a mud pond. I see a chair lift. I see a sign that says, says uh, expert with a follow me sign. And here we are. I hate when it says expert on there. I've come a long way in my riding skills, but whenever I see that, I always think, who the hell do I think I am? <laughs> Expert double black. All right, let's do the expert double black. Right into it. Okay. Oh, those are drops. I should have dropped them. I don't know though. First time, you know. I'm not gonna just be blasting drop drops the first go. Ooh, this is loose. <laughs> this is GoPro effect right here. Good for McDonald's. Queen something. <laughs> I was like, is that a new trail? I don't know. Hello, Frank's Pickle Barrel What? Oh my god. Oh. My back landed on this. What a stupid slam. Oh my god, that was the dumbest slam I've ever had. I was looking at my gimbal, trying to see if the camera was on. Didn't grab the handlebar in time. Unbelievable. All right, let's pretend that didn't happen. Damn, this is rocky. Bad luck. 
line back on it. All right, let's try hello. It sounds, it sounds like it's not dangerous, right? It sounds fun. Hello. If I see a red diamond in pro line, I know that's probably not true. Hang it on. Hang it on. <laughs> it's loose. Which one? Let's do flow. I don't feel like doing that one twice. You gotta look at the, those ramps before you do them, I guess. It makes sense too. That's fun. A little four footer. Oh, surprise little gapper. I have to come back for this one. Flow for sure. Paper root. Take a look where the chain used to be. It's not there. I'm pretty close to the lodge. Maybe they could just throw it on in the shop. So hopefully we'll be back. Gondola update. New chain. That thing got shredded, I guess. But the new chain is looking glorious. Not that I can tell because it looks exactly the same. It's just a lot cleaner. But we're back on the trail. On the search for a trail called Boomerang, which I heard is new. So like I said, today's my first day wearing the Fox Full Face Pro Frame. And it's really comfortable. Full faces I thought would feel a little bit more claustrophobic. and It's a little bit of that because it grabs your face, but not much. Breakthrough. Thanks guys. Yeah, you got it, man. Dad out with his little kids riding bikes, that's awesome. Love seeing that. Too bad Pupper Pip doesn't have longer legs. The boy would be tired in the uh, first 10 minutes. He's a little guy. He's just a little guy. Goosey goosey. Stay straight. I remember right, this heads left pretty soon. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Let's try to endo that switchback going 50 miles an hour. Those little mistakes you make. Always funny because you know exactly you shouldn't be doing that. You get a little too confident. Oh, I know there's a sharp rate coming. I'm just gonna levitate around it. <laughs> Then you get a hot nope. Gotta be careful, it's getting later in the day. Kinda getting hungry. 
I got some energy, but it's not like it was. No more excuses, I'm just saying. You gotta be conscious of that. I feel like that was another trail I should take a look at. Jesus, what the hell was that? <laughs> okay, so I found Boomerang. Not the absolute start of it, but right at the top. And yeah, it's loose. Like I say, this is loosey goosey. Damn, dude. This might be the loosest crap I've ever ridden a bike on. The whole ground is just changing right before you. Difficult or not difficult. What the hell? Let's look at that sign again. <laughs> I always get a little nervous when I'm by myself doing stuff that scares me a little bit. I got this. Hey guys, I'm really bummed right now. I just had the craziest, craziest run and it didn't record any of it. I did that line on the right, nailed that, went into some crazy other features and then hit a jump and I crashed right here and rolled down this thing. So I came flying down that hill, realized this was a jump, was fine with it, it's not big. I ended about here and then I braked about here I realized I was going so fast There's no way I could stop so drop drop and then that last one drop for the tree that's probably five six feet into loose pumice which I had but that stupid tree was right there I can't believe I didn't film that so far the GoPro and the gimbal seem to be working GoPro has seen better days but so far, it's okay. Oh, Jesus. Now I'm all paranoid. I think everything's got an eight foot drop after it. <laughs> that one wasn't my fault. Oh, it's a flat. Ah, some foot bridges. For you guys that haven't been here before, when you get to the bottom of half of the half of the trail from the left-hand side of the mountain, you're gonna just take the road all the way back down to the village. It's not that far. It's a fun cruise. It's all downhill. And then it's where you kind of just scan your uh, your bike pass at the, the shuttle depot. They come about every 10 minutes. And then that'll bring you right back up to the gondola main lodge where you can choose your path once again. Before I came, I thought it was going to be all different types of shuttles here and there. It's just one. One that goes from A to B. Hey guys, I just finished up Mammoth. I'm a little banged up. I'm okay though. Got a long week ahead of me. Gotta pace myself. So thanks for letting me bring your mouth to life and stay tuned for the next video because we're going to South Lake Tahoe.